Matthew, do you have any simple recommendations for organisations who may not have the same resource that you had to spend on primary and secondary research? What could they do now? Well, the cheapest part of all the research was, in fact, the primary research. Uh, it, it doesn't take very much to do a set of vox pops outside your venue, just capturing people's thoughts quickly and clearly. Um, it doesn't take very much to bring somebody along who might be connected with your organisation that has never been to an event before to actually get some very direct feedback on what the whole thing looked like. You could almost do that yourself, quite honestly, with a bit of facilitation from a skilled marketeer or from somebody that was you know, experienced at giving interviews or facilitating that kind of um, event. Um, sometimes that very direct kind of feedback about how you're presenting something or your venue um, will yield the quickest and best results and will, and, will, and will be most vivid to you, particularly if you haven't got the resources to set up you know, a, a complex CRM or marketing structure with people to drive that. So I think that's what I would recommend. Some organisations have set up kind of small focus groups of their audience or regular users. I know London Symphonietta have done that around some of their events and found it very helpful. That again can be um, a relatively inexpensive, low cost, but useful way to kind of bring people in as ambassadors, if you like, of your audience to say how's it going and to give you very direct feedback on your work. Um, so that can be another useful approach.